What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, uh, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a top AEW star wants to wrestle WWE name, the real reason why Fox fell out with WWE, it's the end of an era for WWE as they put the HQ up for sale, is WWE unhappy with the AEW world champion, is Mandy Rose returning to wrestling, Big Show bringing back an infamous character and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at a top AEW star wants to wrestle a WWE name. Our top story today examines the latest possibility of a WWE AEW crossover event as one of AEW's top stars stated that he wants to work with a huge WWE name. Will Ospreay has wrestled names all over the world and one of the wrestlers he loved working with was WWE star Drew McIntyre. Speaking to Inside the Ropes, Will Ospreay stated that he'd be happy to throw down with McIntyre again. I remember it super fondly, I have nothing but love for Drew and I hope he's doing well. I haven't kept in contact with him but I keep up with his work and hope the same is mutual. If there ever was a chance to throw down, I'd happily do it again. I think it was different as well because I had to work as a bad guy. Unfortunately, the chances of Osprey vs McIntyre seem extremely slim. Whilst both respective companies have and are continuing to work with other promotions, it's just unlikely that WWE would agree to work with what is essentially a rival promotion. This is a shame as an AEW WWE super show would deliver major business, yet even the idea of booking the show creates problems, as deciding on key calls such as who should win the matches will naturally cause problematic discourse, so it would be a tough task to execute. Nevertheless, do you think there will ever be a day where AEW and WWE work together in some capacity? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a WWE champion claps back. One of the talking points on social media yesterday centered around Finn Balor. Balor, who is one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions with JD McDonough, was called out as the tag titles haven't been defended a single time during their 73 day title reign. Balor noticed the criticism and he took to X to state, work smarter, not harder. WWE would then repost Balor's tweet which didn't exactly sit well with the fans. WWE's presentation of the tag titles hasn't been the strongest element of their booking in 2024. The tag titles from both brands haven't been seen on PLE since WrestleMania 40 and based on the current directions on TV, it looks like this is unlikely to change anytime soon. The tag titles have gone from main eventing WrestleMania last year to being total afterthoughts and WWE truly need to get their act together. Some fans have discussed that the mistreatment of the tag titles is a result of WWE's insistence on having just 5 matches on a PLE card and this argument and criticism does indeed hold some weight. Hopefully Triple H sees the ongoing criticism on social media and acts accordingly. Next up, the real reason Fox fell out with WWE. A WWE is set to leave Fox this month as SmackDown returns to USA. The relationship between WWE and Fox seemed to be a healthy pace early on, however a new report has shed insight into why the relationship fell apart and surprise surprise it ultimately comes down to former WWE chairman Vince McMahon. During his backstage report, this is what Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful had to say on the topic. I would say they were indifferent to WWE at this stage. I did hear from some people from Fox recently who said, well they aren't tanking the shows or anything, they're still giving us good shows. As Sapp continued by saying, they didn't feel like that in 2020 and 2021. They felt especially under Vince McMahon, some of the last days of that or some of the last years of that, but he was not giving them a lot of what they've been told. Some of it was chalked up to COVID. COVID was a major part of souring some of the views from people at Fox. Now I will say this, since the last couple of years, especially the last year and a half, people that I've talked to there have a more positive disposition regarding things than they did then. Next up, the old WWE HQ is up for sale. And it seems like it's finally the end of an era, as a piece of WWE history is finally up for sale. WWE have officially settled into their new HQ and now their old building, that being the famous Titan Towers, is now up for sale. WWE officially moved into the building back in 1985 and they announced that they will be moving to a new location back in 2019. The official property listing for the building reads, 90,675 square foot office building that was formerly the world headquarters of WWE, presenting potential for releasing or redevelopment set on 1.19 acres. The existing improvements include high quality office space with 11 inch finished ceiling heights, a rooftop patio with unobstructed views of Long Island Sound, a fitness center, a cafeteria and 300 parking spaces. Now there is no set asking price attached to the building and it looks like offers will be taken into consideration. Next up, WWE unhappy with AEW World Champion? 
It was only a matter of time before WWE had an issue with Brian Danielson trademarking his catchphrase, and according to the current AEW World Champion on Luke James Chats, WWE sent him an email regarding the use of the catchphrase. I applied for it, but then I got, it wasn't necessarily a cease and desist. I got some sort of legal letter from WWE. It was really weird because my manager texted me and said, hey, this thing is available, do you want to get it? I was like, how much does it cost? It wasn't that much. Okay, sure. Shortly after that, I got an email from WWE saying that this is infringing on this or that or whatever. I'm like, I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. I just do my thing. This is incredibly petty from WWE's legal team and it's hilarious that Danielson doesn't seem phased by any potential legal action. Next up was the Drew McIntyre Jack Perry photo planned. A Drew McIntyre sent social media into a frenzy last month when he posted a selfie with the AEW star Jack Perry. Perry, of course, was a man who was linked to the AEW firing of CM Punk, and this was outstanding heel work from McIntyre. Fans were convinced that the photo was set up, yet McIntyre has revealed the truth behind the photo during an interview with Chris Van Vliet. No, I didn't run into him at Comic Con. I was flying to LA after the show the night before. I bumped into my buddy Roderick Strong at the airport, who was headed to a Ring of Honor event. Then on the flight, I saw Jack and his partner. We had a brief chat and snapped a quick picture. Within minutes, the internet went crazy. It was hilarious. McIntyre continued by saying he enjoys keeping fans guessing. I think it lasted all of 45 minutes, but in that time, there were around 2 million impressions. It was insane how much people enjoyed it. I like playing on the fine line of what's acceptable and what keeps people guessing. Whether the photo was planned or not, I'll never say. I love making people wonder. Next up is Mandy Rose returning to wrestling. I could former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose be returning to pro wrestling. While well, footage had circulated on social media of Rose running the ropes, she appeared at the BLP Crowning Glory Combine and then she delivered a trademark knee strike. Rose hasn't ruled out a WWE comeback, in fact Rose had this to say during an interview with SE Scoops. I would say making that statement, whether it was on Monday Night Raw or Friday Night Smackdown, I did make such a big statement in NXT. I think it was my time to then get to Monday or Friday or do it on the big screen. NXT's great, it's so amazing what they've built, but obviously the end goal is to be in front of thousands and thousands of people and big crowds and on TV every week, which I was at NXT, but it was just a smaller situation. But I think that would be the ultimate goal if I wanted to get back. Would you guys like to see Mandy Rose come back to wrestling? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, The Big Show bringing back an infamous character. Our final story today takes a look at the latest health news when it comes to wrestling legend The Big Show and how it looks like he's set to bring back an infamous character. Show who now uses his real name Paul White in AEW appeared on Down Under the Ring and he stated that he hopes to return to the ring and when he does, he plans on reviving the Captain Insano character from the Waterboy movie. God, I hope so. I can get back in the ring because Tony Khan paid me a shit ton of money to get into the ring. I've heard from him, Captain Insano. I heard his fat ass had a knee surgery a couple of months ago, but he's hoping he'll be back real soon, and definitely I hope he's going to compete in February here in Brisbane. So yeah, a lot of that was intellectual property, and Tony Khan actually, because I lost the big show. That's the WWE IP, which is tough when you build a brand for 20 years, but it's business. I understand, it is what it is, but building yourself a new identity is like starting all over. A show then went on to reveal that Tony Khan went to acquire the IP on behalf of the big show, so it looks like AEW will proceed with the character on TV. Captain Insano is a pretty cool gift. Tony Khan worked it out and got the IP rights for me, so I've been waiting to pull the trigger on that, and I'll be honest, a lot of it's been my fault. Having surgeries and stuff like that, it's about me getting in the gym, training, getting ready for when I feel comfortable, because it's basically a one-shot run. I can't pull the trigger on this half-assed and go out and fail. When I pull the trigger on Captain Insano, it's going to be 100%. We'll run that till the wheels fall off and then we ride off into the sunset. Well, there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below. And I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.